I heard this game has some problems, but I mean, it's to be expected. The first Deadly Premonition had some problems. White Owls is Swery's studio, right? I think it is. He had an owl thing. Uh, the biggest thing I hear about this is that the frame rate is not good. Uh, that being said, the rest is pretty Deadly Premonition, so I'm excited. There's really no other options I can do here. Contr what is like... Yeah, this doesn't matter to me. Okay. Good enough. I guess we'll just go into new game. Uh, this is a prequel, I think. I, I haven't looked at too much information about this. But I'm pretty sure it's a prequel. That being said, I think it'll probably have spoilers for Deadly Premonition 1. So in case you didn't uh, ever see what happened in that, might be a good idea. I probably will also spoil stuff myself because it's maybe would be hard to talk about things without... Mentioning what happened in... Ooh, I like the big text. Don't really like the subtitles below, but... Okay. So we're in New Orleans. Oh my god, is that anagram? I know, I think there was like an apartment that was basically reusing assets from Dark Dreams Don't Die, but that was in Boston, so... It turns out it was just reused assets then. There was kind of a hope that maybe there would be some answers to Dark Dreams Don't Die in this, but doubtful. I thought maybe, too, that the cat girl from Dark Dreams Don't Die would be the one that was like the cat woman from Deadly Premonition 1 that gave him his scars. But uh, again, I, I think he actually has his scars in this as well. Oh, that's interesting. Always with the, uh, new look. Ooh, chainsaw. Are chainsaws good with ice? I feel like you need, like, a more specific thing. Oh, it's the FBI. Always having a, um, strong, I'm assuming, first kill. We had the, like, crucifixion on the tree 88 hours later. Okay. Thompsonville. Oh, it is Boston! It is Boston! Is this gonna be the apartment? What a way to start the new year. At this rate, I'll be dead by Easter. Oh, I don't actually have control Quiet here. Down, Jones. You're on the clock. I can control with the left analog stick, now? but any direction I push is just moving you me have forward. Any idea what you've done? What have I done? I'd be half naked in Havana right now if you hadn't shown up. Soaking up some rays, surrounded by a harem of bikini queens, a mojito in one hand, and a seafood slathered Havana style pizza in the other. Simon seems cool. What did I do to deserve this? Does God hate me? No. The regional bureau chief merely issued I, a I would assume order. the conversation ends. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How could I forget? A special order to rob me of my well-deserved vacation. Just gonna stand here for you a minute. Pizza? I'll buy you some pizza. You can find that junk anywhere. Whoa! Hey! Uh, we need to listen to Hold pizza on. talk, though. What did you just say? Pizza is not... Why don't you junk. talk shit about pizza, man? Pizza is a sacred food bestowed upon us by God himself. Uh, I changed my mind about Simon. He's a little nuts. Right now, this is sheer blasphemy. Apologize to who? Pizza or God? Ha <laughs> ha. You think you're so clever. Maybe if you'd eaten pizza this morning like a decent person, you wouldn't have cut your finger. I only cut my finger because I couldn't find a left-handed can opener at the hotel. Normally, I would never make such an amateur mistake. This is a lot of weird information. Oh, really? Well, if you want me to get into gear, then just feed me some pizza, okay? We must act unfaithfully and abandon our ideals again and again. We cannot advance from one period of life into another without causing these pains of treachery. <sighs> Nietzsche... Again, please spare me before my ears start to bleed. Ever since the moment you got here, it's been nothing <laughs> but Nietzsche Tom, quotes. Sorry, I, 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 enemy you can meet will always be yourself. I'm almost speechless at this just dialogue. This off. is exactly I what I want. To philosophy. Want me to dial the number for you? I just wish that I could have kept Jones. walking or it's something. It's time to get serious. Your four and a half years of hard work are finally about to pay off, and all you're focused on is this nonsense. <sighs> Pizza isn't nonsense. How long does this go? Quiet. As you wish, mother. My lips are sealed. 
happy now. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that was the end. And yeah, I think it would have cut off if we hit the door. Agent Jones, don't let him take control of the conversation. The moment you let your guard down, he'll strike. I mean, just talk about pizza and they'll be in control, I guess. I gonna shoot him immediately? And no red, remember? Is it York? I think no red seems a bit much, but I could see him not liking red. It's open. Come on in. Oh, it's Zach. Okay. Uh, yeah, so spoilers for Deadly Premonition 1, it's gonna be Zack. I'm assuming this means that this is... ...post... ...the, uh... ...Greenvale plotline. Is that Zack? He looks like a weird old scientist man. I guess it's a bathrobe. I thought it was a lab coat for a minute. Is that the ganja? He got like a big ass scar on him. Did the you scar get deeper? Questions for us. Yo, what's up with Ratman, though? Whoa. That's why you're here, isn't it? Because, like, that scar takes up that one bit of his hair that was... Already had, like, kind of baldness from a scar, but it wasn't that deep and that, like, across his face before. And I don't think he, like, got that from the Greenvale thing. Oh, I can't explore. I'm still stuck going towards the coat hanger. So I don't really remember the Dark Dreams Don't Die apartment. I'm assuming this was the one. Especially if it's Boston. Yo, is he invited to Smash? I saw that letter. Owl water. Mr. Morgan, before we question you, allow me to first read you your rights. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Please keep that in mind as you speak. Do we have permission to film this? Okay. I don't know how important any of these characters are, but if they have a title card, I'm assuming mm -hmm. very... Don't worry, my fairy. Oh god, now he's talking They're to a free fairy. To do whatever they like. What even something wrong, Mr. Morgan? I have no idea what he would who he would be talking to as a fairy. <laughs> That's new. I'm FBI Special Agent Aaliyah Davis. And this is Simon Jones. An analyst from the Boston branch. He's been monitoring us for years now. Oh, uh, Hi. It's a uh, good freeze frame on him. Yo, what's up with that panda thing? There's a lot of weird Seriously. stuff on the side here. A southern bell and a lonesome loser who can't catch a break. Quite the uncanny duo. You'd be the perfect stars for the latest video game. I want them to cut to Zach Isn't and have him right, wink at the camera. Theory? <laughs> How many years has it been since someone came to chat with us? Oh, but don't ask me about my fairy. I really want That's to, though. A private matter. Don't do this to me again. It's hard to tell what he's thinking, but my eyes can't be deceived. Oh, I have if to he's hiding go something, through it. It'll come out in his face. Oh. Oh, this is like an investigation thing? Okay. Messy award trophies. Guess I'll look at it. Letters of appreciation from the governor. 
and the Department of Justice. They're caked in dust as if he doesn't even care about them. I can't really look at anything else, so... Let's talk about You've it. You've solved many difficult cases across your career, utilizing your own unique M.O. You've expertly cracked cases that were otherwise thought to be unsolvable. According to our records, after joining the FBI in 2002, you quickly solved two drug ring-related kidnapping cases. What's that, like, weird thing next to the speaker? It's on a shelf. It looks like a lantern, but like a magical one. In 2003, you solved the Inside Out Flesh Skinner case in the suburbs of Pittsburgh. That sounds like a fun case. In 2004, the Jeffrey Dahmer wannabe case in Milwaukee. And also the Stuffed Human Collector case in St. Louis. That, that one also Sadia. just sounds great. Then... In 2005, you coincidentally happened to solve the Lise Clarkson murder case while on vacation. You went on to solve many other cases after that, all of them seemingly inexplicable. Did you really solve these cases all on your own? There are no records of you using a wide-scale investigative team or working with anyone else. I guess, like, police help doesn't really count. How did you ever accomplish such monumental feats Obviously, all they're by yourself? Implying the help of York, but it was all thanks to our talented partner. Partner. The FBI files show no record of you ever working with a partner. Do you mean you worked with some sort of unofficial partner or an outside confidant? You would think like I guess sheriff help, um, I'm just assuming from the Greenvale one, would technically count as help, even though obviously it went a little tits up in Greenvale. Our partner is our partner. We've always worked together. Besides, Bell, you're forgetting one important thing. I don't like his hair and like how big his forehead looks because After of his hair Saint receding. Louis case, we stopped by a diner on our way home and caught Thelma and Louise, two highly sought-after fugitives. I don't think she was listing every case you've done. <laughs> I guess it was funny, though. Oh, visions! You can use visions to acquire important hints that will help you proceed through the game. Hold L to use vision. It will deplete your concentration. So be careful about using too much. So if I use it... Is it just showing me the important thing? I saw it like glow on Zack's poker face. And then yeah, it uses that up. So I probably don't want to use it. But I would assume that just means that that's the thing I need to do next. So let's look at some indulgence. Excuse me, Mr. Morgan. But would you please refrain from consuming that while we speak? I'm talking about... Yes, that. Why aren't you just saying what it is? You don't need to worry about us. Why was she vague about it? We won't get in yours. Unfortunately, questioning doesn't work like that. Our data needs to be consistent. I probably should have looked at it before I talked about it. I don't know. I don't know how important these investigation scenes will be. Or like, if there's any extra information now that I'm not going to get if I don't do stuff. Stinking indulgence right this minute. Because I'm assuming this is going to be a thing that happens a bunch. What? Oh, he was going to no. cough up. Then I'll put it out myself. Using force. That's a bit much. Whoa, whoa, Aaliyah. This is Morgan's what, house. Like, I want to look at other stuff in this house. Because what is going on with that, like, milk carton cage thing that's behind Simon here? Besides... It's legal in Massachusetts for individuals to consume cannabis in the comfort of their own homes. Yeah, so it's weird. And I mean, come on. It's medicinal. Good, thanks for the input, exactly. Zach. I have a hard time saying Zach. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else I can investigate. Is there like a pickle in a jar to the right? Zach, did you turn York into a pickle? It's pretty funny. Funniest hey, shit I've seen Bella. all day. 
Why are you dressed so handsomely? What are you talking about? The thick black accessory wrapped around your neck. That's a male necktie. The color black represents confidence and interest in the self. And your decision to wear a male tie symbolizes your declaration of war against a predominantly male society. Or perhaps it's a psychological barrier meant to hide the weakness that dwells deep within your psyche. We admire Says the bravery. man who talks to himself a lot. I thought you retired from profiling. <laughs> Bullseye, huh? You're an easy one to read. In order to think with society, a man must first gouge out his eyes and cut off his ears. Don't judge a book by its cover. For someone who's supposed to have been one of our best, you've got an awful eye for people. Or did all that smoke and kill all your little gray cells? Okay, Aaliyah, that's enough. Aaliyah's being mean. She's smart, but she's Looks also like more of a Looks like the triangle on the she lets on. table. Looks like there was something there that Agent would have Jones, like gathered dust. That's sexual harassment. Uh, wait, what, what? What was sexual harassment? Just calling her a... Okay, whatever. I don't... I kind of just want to <laughs> move along. Now he's dark laughing. Why is Zach like this? So, Bell, does that barrier of yours also protect you from violent criminals? <laughs> he's dark laughing again. Why is Zach so dark? He's more dangerous than I thought. I can't read him. It's because of all the marijuana. Get on with questions then. First, I'll try using the files on the table to shake him up. I want to know what's going on on the couch, too. There's just like a pile of shit. He has vacant eyes. Mr. I, Morgan? Again, I keep forgetting to, like, look question, at things instead. Purely out of curiosity. If it makes you uncomfortable, just let me know, and I'll retract it. Bell, what's wrong? You sure put a lot of effort into that approach. It's a question about death. About this body? Are you afraid? Is he dying? Is that why he has his medicinal? What's coming? What is it, though? Think carefully about why we're smoking this. Then ask us again. I'd assume because it feels pretty good to Honestly, get high, man. We're not afraid. Rather, we find it intriguing. So when he says we, is he talking about the weird fairy? Intriguing. Because I think York is supposed to actually be gone, right? Yes. <sighs> Belle, have you ever been to the Grand Canyon in winter? No. In the dead of winter, the Grand Canyon is terribly cold. Colder than you could imagine. A cold that no photograph could ever express. The sun. <laughs> Powerless. And the temperature drops below zero, right in the middle of the day. Meaning? <laughs> Meaning, you can't really understand something until you experience it for yourself. That's a really roundabout way to get to that point, Zach, but go, go for it. Us, you need to gain more experience, Bell. Uh, what's up with I again hitting? That chessboard looks rather old. Should have uh, looked at it first, but I'll I'll remember eventually. Right, they were banned by the Sites Treaty. That was made in France in the 1900s. We know it's in bad taste, but the weight of the ivory just feels so good in our hands. You play chess alone? Is that a crime? No. Yes, actually. But it's a hard game to enjoy when you're all by yourself. He's probably just replicating famous games. Or trying to solve problems from a chess workbook. Right, Morgan? I may not look it, but I'm actually a bit of a chess nut myself. 
Have you heard of a guy named Usher? He loves chess. When I was He's my school, buddy. I used to pour over every issue of Chess Life, the magazine published by the U.S. Chess Federation. Well, unfortunately, your guess is completely wrong, Agent Jones. Yeah, shut up, Simon. He isn't replicating a famous game, nor is he solving workbook problems. There isn't a single chess book to be found in this apartment. Like in the whole apartment? I get that you could like look at the shelves and say no chess books, which I kind of wish I could have done. As like a, a, a gotcha, I looked at your bookshelf and saw what was on there. And I didn't find any chess related websites in his internet history. I don't know when, when did she get to look at that? He was simply playing chess. All alone. I like the, the notepad that says hello. So, what's wrong with that, Bell? I don't understand it. How could a single human being seriously play as both sides? You just publicly confessed to stealing personal data. Oh snap, he got her. Seems like that's a much bigger problem. I, I gotta say, I really do hate all of the dust that's here, though. Oh no, everything was done in a perfectly legal manner. Damn, he almost got her. We simply happened to intercept a handful of data being sent out from an unknown origin. Ooh, now she's really trying to scare us. Did you hear that, my fairy? Mm. Serious nightmare fuel. So kind of cringe at the fairy thing. Just sounds weird. Don't like it. All right, now I'll remember to look These at it. These files are from the case that took place just outside of New Orleans in 2005. The agent who handled the case was Francis Zach Morgan. Do we know what year Greenville happened? Now he's sitting right in front of me. Alright, well that didn't really help me much. Do you remember the homicides that took place in Lucare, Louisiana in 2005? We... solved that case. That didn't sound too convincing, Zach. Your report states the following. By coincidence, you encountered a serious incident in a town you visited while on vacation. You then decided to steal the right to investigate from the local law enforcement and took over the case. After several more homicides, you managed to apprehend the perpetrator. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what happened. We stole the right to investigate from them, just as you said. It all started when the body of a 16-year-old girl was discovered. You arrived in Lucare immediately after that, didn't you? We just can't seem to keep ourselves away from dead girls. Oh, that uh, probably isn't a sentence you want to say, Zach. Did you really visit that town just Comes off a bit creepy. We don't know. I had a you deadly premonition. Have the report, then we suggest you read it, Bell. Either way, that case is closed. Closed? You sure about that? Don't you think this puzzle is still missing some crucial pieces? <laughs> Come on. No need to beat around the bush with us, Bell. They found Lise Clarkson's body. It was hidden deep within the Clarkson Food Delivery Services cold storage warehouse. After 14 years, we finally discovered the body of the very first victim. Do you know what this means? That's why we're here. The first victim in the case he solved, Lise Clarkson. And this is a photograph of what she looks like now. How will he react when he sees it? I don't... I, I guess I don't know how FBI works. Would they go about a follow-up with someone who used to... Who, like, worked on a case in this manner? Like, sure, the case is probably reopened because of this, but this, they're, like, really prying into Zach here. Unless if he's a suspect, I guess. Didn't look at it. Forgot to look. Pleased. That her body turned up. Deeply pleased. You claim to have closed this case, but now a lost body suddenly surfaced. Aren't you curious about the details? Body or not, we already solved that case. Lisa's body, K-1, 
can't change anything now. And it certainly has nothing to do with us. I suspect the body was stored there rather than abandoned, due to the unnatural state it was found in. She was found frozen in a storage unit. Therefore, she looks exactly the same as she did when she disappeared. In fact, she's in such good condition that we can even determine the murder weapon and cause of death. Good. Well. That's positive good information, right? Yeah. Even stranger is how unbelievably beautiful she looks. All right, now they're getting a little creepy here. At first glance, few would guess she was a murder victim at all. Uh, I, you know, except for the part where she's dismembered in the ice. She looks more like a piece of art, or a mythological figure from a painting. Mythological figure. This keeps getting better and better. The way she's describing it is like the same thing that York did when the anagram thing happened. Better and better? Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> a corpse is beautiful. See, he dogs. even knows. Sounds just like our story. Basically. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know, like, the promo art shows the red tree, okay. so... Now I'm sure that Morgan's hiding something. Probably is related to Greenvale in some I way. I'll be able to get what I want if we go deeper into the documents. This bit's going on a bit longer than I thought it would. Yo, but what about that chest? I don't feel good about it. A halfway finished chess game. I think he was playing both sides by himself. Yeah? If it was merely for entertainment... It wouldn't be a problem, but I know that every action he takes has its own special purpose. Does it? Especially now that his remaining time is limited. Is that like an IV bag on the ground? Is that what's on the couch? I, I mean, you can see a lot of pill bottles everywhere. Uh, is this going to be new about the chess? Who is it? This my fairy character you keep speaking to. You can't see her. Such bad manners you barge into our apartment yet you don't even care about who else is living here i mean she asked about it dissociative identity disorder in the past it was known as multiple personality disorder you were subjected to an internal probe only once during your career correct they suspected that you had did but you denied it and no problems arose during your test was it just a verbal tick when he was like, isn't that right, Zach? Is this how you dealt with the psychological profiler back then, too? Saying strange things, weaving unrelated matters together. Is that how you slipped through? You're free to draw your own conclusions, Belle. But my fairy clearly exists. She's been sitting right there on your lap <laughs> on this entire lap. time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, stop it. She reacted. No violence allowed in here, Bell. Did she punch it? Wouldn't want to scare my fairy. No, Did she just start swinging her arms? Like she was freaked out that it was actually there? What's going on? Who are these people? Uh, there's the he photo. Just twitch when he saw the picture of the body. He's even tougher than the rumors made him out to be. But I was prepared for that. And if my hunch is right, he's deeply intertwined with this case. Far deeper than what my superiors think. I guess maybe that's why she's investigating more. The person who originally admitted this report was his superior, Robert Abrahams, current chief of the Boston branch. According to Chief Abrahams, Morgan's got his own modus operandi. It's not something that others should interfere with. Well, Chief, look what that's gotten us into now. Did Abraham know about the deadly premonitions with the coffee? You may be wondering why we decided to unearth all these old files. Everything happens for a reason. I like the wallpaper behind him. The moment Lise Clarkson's body was found, we did the best we could to start our own local investigation. The but rustic brick look too is nice to the left. Due to the damage caused by the hurricane. Then we assume you also questioned everyone who worked in the warehouse. Of course. We questioned all the Clarkson Food Delivery Services employees who staffed the warehouse and its owner. But we still have yet to obtain any key testimonies. 
par for the course with a 14-year-old case, if you ask me. No one asked you. Not to mention how bad the timing was. Most of the employees were on vacation. So, you gave up on the investigation and came to see us instead. <laughs> Remember what happened, my fairy? That warehouse. That man. So incoherent. Such a pain. <laughs> hey, are you talking about... The guy who managed the vault where Lisa's body was found? This is like a lot of preamble for basically just framing Zack talking about the case, and then that's what we're gonna be going through. Yeah, I think he started working there in 2005. Remember, Aaliyah? You said he was a pain to deal with, too. Yo, but what's with the cartons? And the triangle. And the pickle on the shelf. The large man, yes. No need to answer, if you don't want to. I'm sure you've already put him under surveillance. Textbook FBI protocol. Okay, I guess we'll just keep going with this. Isn't there someone else you should have talked to? Like my fairy? For coming to us. Such as... We were unable to reach Patricia Clarkson. I wonder if that's the partner he has. I know he has someone following him around in the actual gameplay. You surprised. I thought you already knew. After all, you visited Louisiana last week. We assumed you met with her during your time. Kind of wonder if his little fairy is the girl that follows him around, which will be weird, but I won't be we surprised if it is. Louisiana. Not in 14 years. Is that so? We've been right here in our apartment this entire time. That man is our witness. Aren't you, Simon? He's right. He didn't even take a single step outside on Christmas Eve. Which means that I didn't get to either. Uh, I guess that's why everyone in the warehouse was on vacation. Are you positive about that? I took the liberty of checking some airline records. Last Friday, the name Billy Bishop was listed on a morning flight out of Boston. This is the fake name you used to use as an agent, isn't it? <laughs> a mere coincidence. Yet that's not all. That evening on the same day, a man with a large scar on his forehead allegedly purchased an 89 Cadillac from a small used car lot in Lucare. He reportedly said he wanted something old, big, and strong. The owner of the car lot felt it was a strange order, so it stuck in his mind. Our world is filled with mysteries, and they always have the most bizarre timing. I'm glad I know he's smoking. Incidentally, on the following day, an identical Cadillac was taken to a scrapyard in Trenton. Trenton, New Jersey. Jersey? You can find that type of car anywhere. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> he needs to stop dark laughing. It hurts his lungs. Morgan's right. Everything happens for a reason. Even this messy room. There must be a reason for it. Especially when it comes to those strangely tidy spots. They're practically begging me to... Finally! Question. Empty... Box? Piles of DVDs? DVDs are all over the place. I know that he's a shut-in, but this still seems like way too many for one person. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. Paris, New York, Ratman. And I've never heard of any of these titles before. Let's talk about DVDs. You like doing that, right, a Zach? stinking indulgence. Stinking? And a massive oh, he's DVD collection. Oh, she's talking about the, uh... The weed. You must live a very I was upset life. because she was talking about DVDs. We're retired, remember? Retired in your 40s. 40? Oh, he's uh, really not looking I'm great. I'm envious. But he's dying? Love movies, Belle. 
I'm not a fan. Okay, so uh, she's the worst character ever now. Oh, that won't do. You should dedicate all the free time you have to watching movies. It's practically an unwritten law. Films guide us. Films are filled with every important life lesson there is. Is that so? For example, they yeah, live. like they live. How old was he in Greenvale? If he's 40 now. 1988, directed by John Carpenter. Probably like 20 something. That film taught us a valuable lesson. What did they live teach you? Always put on your sunglasses before a fight. Okay. You know, you got a point. Okay, Movies Simon. Teach us about everything we need to know. I learned about the right way to eat frozen pizza from Cobra. It's one of Stallone's best films. Simon just loves his Before pizza, that, huh? I wouldn't be caught dead trying to eat frozen pizza. I thought it wasn't fit for human consumption. Did Cobra, like, unleash his inner pizza demon? But that film changed my life. I guess so. If it changed his Simon, life. That has nothing to do with the film. What? You're just talking about pizza. How can you just sit there and eat pizza? Poor Simon. Tried to like be a bro. MVA supplements and a home IV kit. It's probably filled with highly concentrated vitamin C. He said that being on the verge of death is intriguing. But then why does he have such an elaborate home medical care setup? How does he truly feel? He loves it. I don't know. Do you like fresh vegetable juice? Why would you think that? There's a juicer in your sink that hasn't been washed yet. And do I smell the faint fragrance of baked beans? Beans? You didn't use much salt, did you? G a good nose? What are you implying? What are you implying? You just told me that you find impending death to be intriguing. That confused me. Why? Because he didn't use salt? Because it's a room, not good for your health? All I can see are the many ways in which you're resisting death. Poly MVA treatment, highly concentrated vitamin C IVs, fresh vegetable juice, vegetable protein without salt, gallons of vitamin D milk for fat and calcium. Yeah, but why are they like that, though? The ambivalence, yes. What? Two contradictory emotions, mixing, coexisting together. An adult, mature mind is never satisfied with only one response. It's common sense. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> I guess that was the end of that conversation. But look at the triangle. It's a total mess. But certain spots look perfectly clean. Is it just a coincidence? Mm. No. There are no coincidences with this man. Tell me about the triangle, Zach. Mr. Morgan. I found several spots in this room that look strangely clean. But specifically this Did triangle. You tidy up a bit because you knew we were coming. Oh, there's a couple triangles. I didn't even see that one by the sanctuaries. The uh, TV. I was too focused on the one on the table. They've existed from the start. Sanctuaries. That's right. Oh yeah, there actually are a handful Sacred of them. Places. I only was paying attention to the one. There's another one on the fireplace. I'm sure there are many more that I just didn't Hovels notice. For pure souls, if you will. Were there originally objects in those hovels? Something you didn't want us to see. The soul's still there. We haven't touched a thing. But we know you can't see anything. Hey, Simon, don't touch the sanctuary. Really just snapping at Simon right now. Was he doing anything? Uh, s sorry. I guess. We just didn't see him, like, go to touch one. That's a sanctuary. My sanctuary. Don't ever touch it again. You've been watching us for four and a half years, and you couldn't even figure that much out. Uh, my bad. 
It's my first time actually coming inside, you know. <laughs> You're earning far more than you deserve, then. What were you doing all day in that black suburban? Uh, Zach's you really angry right now. Tapping was your specialty. Don't tell me. Crossword puzzles. What do you think, my fairy? Four and a half years. All that time. And what does he have to show for it? <laughs> Crossword puzzles? No way. I was eating pizza. Come on. I thought you knew. I'm a Sudoku guy. Haha. <laughs> Agent Jones. Oh, right. I don't know. Simon's okay. A little too crazy about pizza, but he's fine. He's completely taking control of the conversation. At this rate, we'll never get anywhere. I need to press him some more. Ru Simon, what are you oh, rummaging Agent for? Jones. The briefcase isn't even that big. How long does he intend to keep that up? Was he doing this Does like the whole time? Pizza menu stuffed inside there or something? Thinking about pizza? Agent Jones, did you find the files? Why is there a tire in this? Ooh, Greenvale! Presiding agent, Francis Z. Morgan. So I, I guess it was always considered Zach on the files too. Mr. Morgan, do you recognize these files? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. Ow! We told you. That's a sanctuary. Oh, he touched Let it. Let him go! Assaulting an FBI agent is an obstruction we told of you. justice! We told you! Go! Ah! Say! Back! Say back! Sanctuary! This is exactly ah! like how Sorry. I try to sing Sanctuary when I get to the uh, parts that are sung backwards. Ah! Just a lot of bizarre uh, shouting. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Morgan? Uh, <laughs> He's just growling. I cut my finger with that can opener this morning. I thought I stopped the bleeding, but it seeped through. How could I be so stupid? Oh, right, the red thing. Right. They did talk about the can opener in the hallway. Everything should be fine now. And pizza. Mainly pizza. I'm sorry for being so careless. Bet she had a glove handy. I made sure to read through your file and learn about your condition. The color red. Such an unusual thing to fear. Like a bull. Please. I don't think bulls fear red, though. I don't even think they actually are angry at red. I, Aren't bulls, like, actually I'm colorblind? Sorry, too. Morgan. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll never touch one of your sanctuaries ever again. And no more red either. <laughs> don't ever touch one again. I, don't. <laughs> I told them not to. Why would they do that? Make them go away. Sanctuaries. Don't touch. My sanctuary. Sanctuaries. Don't worry, Agent Zach. I mean, ex-Agent Zach. I'm more of a simple and clean guy now, myself. May we return to our discussion? Oh, don't worry. I won't let them touch you again. I'll keep them away from us. What a weirdo. Strangely enough, this man has a fear of the color red. And I believe that fear is connected to the Greenville case. Y yeah, probably. I can look over here again. Another clean spot. Shredder. Only really have those two options. Alright, the case file's probably gonna lead to the next scene. Here's another empty space. What does the word sanctuary really mean to him? Hovels for pure souls. Let me look at this first Soon before I forget. Agent Jones started monitoring him. He was ordered to go through Morgan's trash, but he didn't find anything. Morgan used this machine to cut up everything, from his mail to his supermarket receipts. Then he even went as far as taking out his trash 
in hearts. Alright, uh, let's talk about it then. This is a very large shredder. Is there something you don't want people finding out about? Hmm. Good question. Okay, I think he calmed down. You never know when some curious civil servants may come and sift through our trash now, do we? You're already retired. What are you so worried about? <laughs> it's just a simple habit. From back when we were still on duty. Didn't they bang that into your head when you were up in Quantico? Some habits are hard to break. No matter how hard you try. Oh, no, I wanna... I'm excited for the Greenvale case file, but I wanna figure this out exactly too. what exactly the word sanctuary means to you? Sanctuaries are sanctuaries. Nothing Great. More and nothing less. Thanks for the help, Zach. Math is math. Explain anything. Why do you wish to know? Just curious. Bell. You're a much ruder person than you initially <laughs> seemed to be. I don't know, she initially seemed pretty rude. Don't you agree, my fairy? What do our sanctuaries have to do with the investigation? If you're out of questions, then how about just going home? Hey, mind if I jump in here? What is it, Simon? We hope you've got a real question for us. Well, actually, I'm also a little curious myself. No one's supposed to touch any sanctuary, right? That's what we said. What about you, though? You can't even touch them yourself? Are there any extenuating circumstances? What are you getting at? Do you even know they're there? I mean, I doubt if any of this really matters, but... If no one can touch the sanctuaries, then... How do you clean them? It's an important question. <laughs> Zach's freaking out right now. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. We just sit here for an hour as Zach tries to think about it. Uh, yo, Greenvale, though. The files on the serial killings oh, right, shocked Washington State in 2010. Officially titled the Greenvale case. I never thought I'd take out files from a case I first heard about on the news. Mr. Morgan, I'd like to ask you some questions about this case now. We don't want to remember that town. I'm sorry, but there's no way around this. I remember hearing about this case on the news when I was still a student. A high school girl named Anna Graham was murdered and the FBI stepped in to take over the case. I also remember it becoming a sprawled investigation due to evidence found in the victim's throat. Is that correct? After that case, you went on sick leave for two years. And when you returned, you requested to be switched over to desk work. I'm kind of surprised he even returned after that case. What happened? That's a private matter. Wasn't that basically the whole reason he wanted to be an FBI agent? Unless if he was looking for like a situation where I, I guess the Red Seed problem reoccurred. None of your business, Bill. Were you traumatized? A little bit. It's a common problem with prolific agents such as yourself. But there's another possibility that may make more sense. Perhaps you simply finished making preparations. What does that mean? What are you getting at? Thinking too much about something will always turn it into a problem. The Greenvale case. Don't you think it resembles the Luke Carre case? M maybe. Read the report. Weren't like most of the cases that he tried to work on related to the Red Seed investigation? Nothing else to say. I'm assuming Lucare also one did. One more thing that Especially because of the, past. again, the red tree thing in the promotional art, but whatever. Alright, but what about the clock it's in like the trash? Old antique. Oh, there's that weird uh, jar thing again. He collects milk cartons but treats valuable antiques like trash. What's going on in his head? 
Tell me about the clock. Oh, and I can look at the pickle too. The silver clock in that trash pile. Is that an H5? That's right. John Harrison's fifth chronometer. Completed in 1770. After many years, he completed it and presented it to the Board of Longitude in order to end their feud with him. That's only a replica, of course. You like clocks? I mean, clocks I don't see a lot of clocks here. Prime fruit of the human race's intellect. We took the invisible idea of time and manifested it in these. Yeah, I love clocks too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> clocks are pretty cool, says Simon. I disagree. Oh? Why? Time is valuable precisely because it can't be seen. Yet nowadays people can't tell what time it is unless it's measured in numbers. Talk about idiocy. Uh, I feel like everyone's being really dumb about talking about clocks and time. I don't mean to side with the Board of Longitude, but remember, humans used to cross oceans with the stars alone. What is happening? We have our eyes to read moon charts and study the sky. We don't need clocks. Clocks are made so you can use your eyes. What, what is this? Cloudy or storming. All you need is courage and courage? A love for adventure. <laughs> Hear that, my fairy? Courage and a love for adventure? <laughs> Come on, Belle. Surely you know how many lives have been claimed by your pal's courage and adventure. <sighs> hey, hold on a second here. I just wanted to say I like clocks. I don't know what's going on. That board of longitude thing. What the heck is that? I mean, I've heard of it before. I'm an FBI analyst, remember? I kind of forgot. I just sort of can't remember it right now. I know what it is, really. I'm telling the truth. Come on, Aaliyah, back me up here. Aaliyah? I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna say that up front. A jar of honey with honeycomb inside. Oh, it's honeycomb. I liked it better when it was a pickle. There's nothing strange about it, but it still gives me a weird feeling. Tell me about the honey. That's royal jelly. Huh? You were staring at the jar, weren't you? Do you find it strange that there's honeycomb inside? Yeah. We wanted to harvest royal jelly in its most natural state. You know, the natural state of in a jar. The queen's main food source, created from the worker bee's secretions. This seems like this might actually be pretty important. It's a perfect food, filled with power, meant to fuel the birth of the next queen. By absorbing it into our own bodies, we too can acquire that power. Incidentally, did you know that all the worker bees are female? No. Guess they didn't teach you that at Quantico. Probably not. Male bees are only born to inseminate. And they're born from unfertilized eggs to boot. They have short lives and don't even get stingers. Sort of feels like a glimpse into the future of our society, wouldn't you agree? Women are gifted with the power to conceive, give birth, and nourish their children. But men, men are consumed with the job of providing women with the chance to do so. That sucks a Zach. If women no longer had to rely on men for the seeds of life, they would soon cease to desire them, we believe. Be careful, Simon. <laughs> huh? Of what? I was too busy thinking about clocks and pizza. Your bell's already stolen the reins from you. <laughs> Pictures picture of leaves. Of leaf. This isn't just a picture of any leaf. It's the most important leaf. Most important leaf? That looks like a picture of a tree. The belief in truth begins with the doubt of all truths in which one has previously believed. It's time to get down to business. Mr. Morgan, please look at this. 
What did we just say? Uh, the last thing you said was that uh, women will take over the world because men are useless. We don't want to remember. All oh, right, Greenvale. This I got distracted. This is from Greenvale. Look closely at it. Former Special Agent Francis Zack Morgan. Francis Zack Morgan just does not roll off the tongue. Is that picture brightening up? What is going on with that? This photograph predates Greenvale. I'm assuming it's a red tree, right? It's from the Lucare case you worked on in 2005. Red. Yeah. Red tree. But again, I just assumed that every case he tried to go after was related in some way. Red tree. It seemed like he was focused on the yes. red seed problem. A red tree. Greenvale wasn't the first place you saw one of these. The right. The Greenvale case and the Lee Clarkson murder case. They're connected by these red trees, aren't they? Yeah. Red trees. Both places growing. Roots. Seeds. Answer me. I think he was done. What are these trees? They're red. Red trees. Yeah. Yeah. I want he answered. The truth. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> He's dark laughing again. The red trees. Yeah. You really did your homework. He's getting real evil sounding now. Well done, Belle. You're good. Damn good. <laughs> okay. Mm. Are you ready to talk now? I want to know what went down in Lucare in 2005. Fine. Did, we'll did we finally you. beat the prologue? Because this took a bit. We'll tell you what happened in that town. Yes. It was that red tree. That red tree ruined my life. Is it brightening up again? It was. It was a sultry summer day. You'd think there would have been a red tree earlier in his life that ruined his life, but... The sun comes down hard on you in the south. Maybe he didn't remember it, because that was kind of part of York, Like a torrential wasn't it? downpour of demonic whispers. It all started back in that sweltering summer. Why is the picture, like, brightening up all the time? We still had our best friend with us back then. The other me. <laughs> My better half. Finally, we're getting to the flashback that I feel like should have been here sooner. Oh, but we got the intro, though. Oh, yo, this song kind of slaps. Yo, I like the, uh, the silhouette. Can't turn away. You're their only lifeline. Just a hero, a bullet for hire. I, uh, that's a, that's a slick looking intro. And, uh, this is just an all new Orleans thing. Look, beads, you know it's New Orleans because of beads. Well, now it just looks like Snake Eater. And then factories. I don't know enough about New Orleans. I'm assuming these are around. What is this with the clowns? This is like the uh, uh, what was it called? The uh, Dark Picture Anthology kind of like intro. What is with? Is that just a butt with weed? And then the trumpet man? This is this is starting to lose me a little bit. It's getting a little crazy. It's it's kind of like just their ge generic like HBO style opening or what was Breaking Bad on AMC? Not AMC. That's the oh no what I don't know what's happening now. What oh my god this this got a little too intense. What is any of this? Is that Fat Man? Is that Willie? I wonder if that Fat Man was Forrest Kaysen. That was definitely Willy. That the uh, intro started off pretty cool. Started to really lose me there. 
What what was the what's the channel that has Walking Dead? That's what I was trying to say. Not AMC. We're we're done with the uh, Twilight Town though. Now we can play the real game.